Hey guys, back with another Echoing Thoughts podcast here, episode number 33. And um, this one's going to be a little different. We're actually going to just watch, kind of react to some videos that I thought was interesting, kind of happened in the last couple of weeks. This was actually 10 days ago. This is the first uh, KMSM Lucid clear. Um, congrats to this team. Um, Lucid just came out and they already cleared it. So we're going to go through that and see. I've never watched this video before. I've never done Lucid in PC or anything like that. So um, we're going to see exactly what this is about. Um, get excited for that. And then we're going to watch um, a few other videos. Um, my Recently, this past week, I've made a lot of progress, a lot of gains. Got really fortunate. Um, hit my caps up to 25 mil now. Uh, hit an Absol Lab. Hit three straight rating exalts. Um, got pretty much full 50 except for a belt. So looking forward to kind of the Absolute Lab journey. Um, that's going to be my next step, get more cap and um, progress. Have some fun with it and um, kind of share the the gains, um, the next combo, coming, coming weeks, months, whatever it is. Um, but this video is just going to be a little different. There wasn't much going on in the game. I thought there was going to be some sort of teaser update. Uh, you know, I thought update, August update was going to be next week, but it seems like it may, who knows, by the time this comes out, it may come out. Um, it may have a teaser by the time this uploads, uh, or like some say that the update might be at the end of the month, kind of a month from patch or, um, anniversary. So we'll see whatever that comes out. So we've got three videos here that I just wanted to kind of run through, um, Got Exorbis here with his gear review. This is going to be epic to see kind of what the best DPS or best Paladin, best players gear looks like at the end end game. Um, and then kind of show a video of me doing a multi hard Magnus with my new stats and cap. So right off the bat, uh, I'm trying to speed this up a little bit. Yeah, Opa 25. Love that kind of cut scene. Same as Damien. Just pretty awesome. And let's see, first thing up, cap, 93. That is a lot of cap. Uh, um, yeah, looks like we're chunking it down. Uh, one of the biggest things about KMSM, I guess that we can take away or not take away is the HP pools. This person has almost 600,000. Looks like they have some, some ads that they have to kill, kind of prioritize, dodge those things. Those definitely are gonna one shot one shot us in um in our version. They kind of just sat through and tanked that. So then looks like just dodge those flowers, kill ads. Doesn't look like they pay too much attention to oh, some vellum vellum type of thing right there. I'm sure the uh yeah, that was interesting. Pretty cool. Not really sure how those moon things. Um, how to tell where they're going. Avoid those flowers. Chunk it down. Phase one. Minute and a half. Oh, add. Nice. Love to see it. Yeah, so I mean, DPS race for the most part. Didn't really move too much. Didn't really dodge. And... um yeah, I doubt our game is gonna be that that simple. Maybe it is long and a cutscene animation. Oh, oh, this is gonna to be tough. If you have to jump from platform to platform, yeah. Looks like they stunned it. Stunned it there. Maximize DPS. Yep, just eat all that. Lovely. That looks like a pain. Jumping. Where's he standing on? I'm so confused. Is there uh looks like it's just platforms? Yep, dodge that, tank that. Looks like those butterflies in the background don't even do anything. Yeah, I have no idea about this, so don't really take my word for it. I'm kind of just seeing this for the first time. This looks like a kind of immunity phase where they can't 
Hmm. That person got caught in the wrong spot, obviously. And looks like they're just, I don't know if they're trying to dodge these little blue orbs. They must be. Let's see if he takes damage from it. Yeah, that must have been what it was. Interesting. Kind of just avoid. Can't attack, so you might as well just avoid those things. Jump down. Ooh, icons. Little cages. Detonation? Yeah, some sort of detonation there. No one took any damage from that. Okay. Weird. Maybe you have to stack up for it. Okay, don't know what happened there. People just died. Okay. Looks like another mini phase. Just flying up to the top to avoid it all together. Yeah, looks like they're trying to dodge these. Yep, looks like they're playing a little bit of a space invaders type of thing, I guess. Dodging. Yeah, we're definitely going to die to that. Yeah, good job by this guy. Kill that ad. Nope. Wiped it out. That was easy. Huh. Just tank. So this guy is cranking. What always interests me, interests me, and I noticed it, it's this in Damien as well. Oh, one shot of there. Is that it's not all full DPS. You notice that? Like in even in Damien, they have people that are doing three, five percent damage, and they still clear. So it doesn't always have to be the biggest DPS, apparently. Like, you don't need to have the best classes, um, the maximum DPS to clear these bosses, apparently. I assume that's a bishop down there, um, maybe some sort of other support class. But just the fact that it's doing 3%, 5% DPS and they're going to clear this is reassuring. And I noticed the same trends in Damien as well. Um, and that's good for us because we have. Um, you know, kind of for Damien, we have split DPS, right? Some people have more stats than others, cap than others. Um, so it's at least a little bit reassuring that it doesn't have to be the 10 biggest, baddest whales. Um, you can still clear kind of with certain team comps or certain players um, kind of doing their roles uh, mechanically for the bosses. And I have no idea what those kind of bottom tier, those lower DPS are doing to kind of help the team, but I'm sure they're doing something. Um, yeah, it looks like just avoiding those butterflies up there. Just a lot of iframes, a lot of invulnerability phases for Lucid. So that's kind of annoying, <laughs> but, um, you know, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of pairing for, you know, DPS and, oh, there you got hit DPS and like avoiding mechanics. It looks like it's just like mechanics phase, avoid this. You can't attack anyway, so just try to survive and then just stand there in DPS for the most part. Maybe kill an ad here to the left. Just, yeah, like he's not even moving. Jump down. That was pretty easy. Iframe. So maybe he knew that was coming and he just used iframe there just to not die. Yeah, what's here? Looks like you can't really, no one's attacking there. Two minutes left. Pretty nerve wracking, I'm sure. Two lives left on the death counter. But the fact that the Lucid just came out and they're already clearing it is um, kind of insane. And I think, so it's not part of the Absolad set. The belt drops from Lucid is completely different. So that's an upgrade from Necro. The ne uh, apps, there is no Absolad belt. So that's one thing, you know, what the, yeah, so it looks like. They did a pretty good job of dodging or something happened there. I don't even know how he saw it. It was off the screen. But yeah, it looks like those, I bet those that those um moon crescent things are gonna hit really hard in GMS in our game. Oh, it looks like an exhausted state right here. Maybe this is like the final push to just finish it off here. Cooldowns are up. Go crazy. Easy. Easy. 
45 seconds left. Insane. That looked a lot of fun. I don't know what was going on there. Obviously a lot easier than Damien and uh, Lotus when Lotus first came out. We're definitely not going to be able to um, clear that fast. I doubt anything is going to scale nicely to our game. But congrats to this team. Night Lords, insane. Just the DPS numbers, the cap that they have is, I don't know, incomparable, I guess. Um, but yeah, pretty sweet to see that. Um, yeah. Comment below if you've done Lucy before. Apparently it's very easy. Um, seems like a DPS race, but curious to hear what thought what I missed, what there's kind of look out for. Curious just to see what um what happened there. But um next video we'll go into is Exorbus, top player in the game in global, paladin. Beat the game basically. We'll check out his stats. He shared his stats in a YouTube video. So we'll see what his equipment looks like. So now we got Exorbis video, um, banana. Check him out. Um, he's insane. Uh, he's been a top geared paladin. Now he's the best player, um, top geared person in the game. Um, he has all the records. Obviously, paladin is insane. Um, he's he's a tier above, two tiers above even me. Um, so you'll see here, he has everything max level, max star force. Um, even his accessories, all level five, emblemed, has the face accessory. Um, he's pretty much the cap of the cap. 313 star force. Uh, for reference, I'm at 270. It's insane. Insane. Um, let's see. He wants improvements. Please comment. <laughs> um, not much really I can say. I don't know if he's trolling or not, but, um, we'll try to, uh, just enjoy really. I love looking at people's gear. I appreciate, I first appreciate him just sharing this, whether it's a flex or, you know, whatever it is. Um, I don't know. Good content. So started with a weapon, one cut, mm. one cut. Going to have to need a new one when Damien comes out for sure. Um, I'm sure he has one in the works. Uh, one of the things that I was curious about, I heard he was a uh, boss attack build and, um, I'm surprised his Necro isn't boss attack. I wonder if he played around with that and saw that crit damage is better, but his flames would scale insanely high. I wish that he showed us how much physical attack these flames d gave at each, whether it's MP, boss attack, HP. Um, I wish he showed what that was, um, but you'll see his stats at the end kind of insane. Um, but yeah, I wondered if he ever thought about using boss attack Necro and how it helps scale his physical attack. And, you know, he has a ton of crit damage already as it is. Um, Obviously not Lotus Cap. Probably could improve that a little bit. Um, beautiful double boss attack, Mythics. And you'll kind of just see like Mythics flames are just a tier, like so much better than Legendaries now, uh, especially boss attack, but especially HP and MP. Um, damn, all these pots are kind of the separators. Like you just see the player card and you know it's one thing, but then when you look at kind of behind the, you know, another layer underneath, you see his emblems, you see his potentials. Like these are all just perfect. Like crit damage, even that's luck. All the RNG or whatever it is, he's got all the best, you know, emblems as well. So even as double three great lines, good enough. Crit boss attack emblem, crit rates still really good. Um, boss defense trash. Um, but what I like, yeah, anyways, um, wonder if he. Use something else besides kerning, just for extra cap and star force and things like that. Even like all three of his lines are good here. Crit damage, of course. Three physical attack, crit damage, of course. Just the best of the best. If you want to see what the best of the best is, this is it. Um, I wonder if you would use the the black pink uh metal here. It actually gives 50 physical attack and 800 HP and 808 HP and MP. Might be pretty nice scaling. I'm sure he tested it out and things like that, but that's something that we're using for Damien to give us a little bit more HP and scale is pretty good with flames as well, uh, HP and MP flames. So definitely that black pink metal is underrated. Um, no, doesn't have, I guess that is chaos. That's the best, I think. Absolab, beautiful nine cut, it's level 60. 
one mythic flame if you had double mythic flame crit damage to boss attack that'd be absurd um three beautiful f f pots double crit damage legendary that's probably better than that one mythic line um hat yep double mythic i mean just mythics across the board three double 150 physical attack yeah that's a that's a flex for sure that's a that's a big time flex um it's pretty sweet he is boss attack build so you'll see like his flames hp boss attack he is um you know the magnus boss attack um i think personally final damage is better i think boss attack is going to be a little bit outdated it's kind of going to get capped once we start to get more absolute lab pieces i think just hp um, mp builds with final damage souls are just going to be um a tier above um so obviously with his build boss attack build his physical attack is going to be really nice um boss attack is is good but i think final damage is better if we're nitpicking if we're just giving him tips right um double line physical attack again like that's like underrated so he got 200 here 300 from the pot from the outfit so that's an extra 500 physical attack um, from potentials. That adds up. Crit damage, of course. You know, nice here. Three good lines. Insane. Crit damage. Boss attack soul. Absolab. So, I mean, his, if you, just the potentials are insane. 6% physical attack. Like I've, you'll see his stats at the end. I'm trying to compare mine. Um, he even has a Fafner in his bag but like this. I mean, this is what it's all about. This is insane. He's almost at a one mil CP. And if he had buffs from other classes, because I think he's in edge of edge of space, he would be over one mil. For reference, I'm at 290, I think, with party buffs. So, and I have 25 mil cap, um, 50 plus, 51 plus physical attack, one Absolab. I'm like, not even close not even close to him he's he's insane and um maybe one day i'll share my um stats um but yeah 32.3 mil cap sheesh uh crit damage obviously boss attack is insanely high with the boss um ba build his crit dam his physical damage and physical attack he doesn't show it here but it's actually from decent nodes as well um he maxed at all those so that adds up insane physical attack he's basically just got everything maxed um nitpicking again final damage is pretty low that's probably the one stat that's going to give him the best bang for his buck for sure but 55k physical attack is pretty nuts uh, pretty nuts um you'll see a lot of it too is from symbols is legion 6700 insane of course um his legion or his symbols um you know 235 arcana is insane um I'm, i have the same symbol 61 70 whatever it is um, this is his um mobbing training whatever it is <sighs> mythic probably needs the exp emblem there just saying but, but that's that that mythic secondary is badass badass sick yeah training obviously um s tier five set if i were to critique him um training i know he's his blast i wouldn't read really, i would use divine charge but um it's whatever like here, this is his training. I'll show it in a little bit. Yeah, he's going to switch over. And um, yeah, I wouldn't use Blast. I would use, geez, his, <laughs> his CP is 350 training gear. That's higher than my, my bossing one. But I would use Divine Charge here, not Blast. Blast just doesn't hit enough lines, hit enough targets it's not great for bossing um for training but yeah epic awesome thank you for him for sharing um not too many people like at that his level especially you know they kind of like try to hide their stats hide their gear because they don't want people to copy them 
um, whether he's doing it for flex or to kind of like, um, you know, share is amazing, right? Regardless, I appreciate it. Um, you know, a lot of people have seen it, talked about it. And um, yeah, I got a lot of, you know, it kind of sees the potential. Now I just want to see um, more content, more PRs, more stuff. Awesome. Um, thank you to him for sharing this. And um, yeah, you can see I'm into ping pong right now, chess, things I'm into on YouTube. But yeah. And then finally, um, we'll get into it. We will watch My Heart Magnus, multi-solo, yes, to, uh, today. Be right back. All right, so we're back. This is my multi-heart Magnus solo. Um, is it? Yeah, let's try and get this up. So, um, oh, 300 mil CP. This is kind of, I just hit Absolab yesterday, the night before. So just wanted to see what I can do with my new stats. And it's going to be a fast video. Uh, um, yeah. So full buffed. Just go in. Fair trade. And one of the things I like about fair trade, probably not, obviously not necessary. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have used, didn't need to use fair trade, but it probably would have helped with divine charge, but I just like to have it. It kind of explodes the um, blitz shield on its own and it's just comfortable. So right here, if you're ever trying to solo hard Magnus, I actually like to stun it before that first fly up skill, purple wave, because it actually skips this skill and then the spin afterwards. You could do it where he does the purple wave stun on the spin and then he'll skip that um, sword dive skill. But um, it doesn't really matter. As long as you skip one of those fly up skills to maximize damage, especially while you have echo up as a paladin um, here, then he's going to dash. So I already got hit twice. Not that big of much big of a deal. Use all my frames in the first minute. Then I don't think I used a power elixir here either. Yeah. Got hit by that again. Wonderful. Yeah. Blitz shield. I think my blitz shield is pretty leveled up too. It's like level 15 or something. It's in the teens. So it's not bad. We yeah, are about a minute and a half in. About 50% through my burst. Avoid this. Sanker right here. Just so I don't die. And then geez. I think that was my my wife and my wife and daughter at, in front of our house during this run. Should have do not disturbed it, but yeah. Yep, there it is, right on cue. <laughs> um, Power of Sanker right there. So you can see the cap, 25, just over 25 mil. Pretty excited about that. I think just last week I was like at 22 something. So got really fortunate with some rating results and apps labs and things like that. So yeah. Cap is looking nice. Still got a long way to go. 33, 32 is insane. Uh, I probably shouldn't have stunned there um, because I'm not really doing that much damage anyways with all my cooldowns down. So kind of wasted. I messed up my res um, iframe right there. Took damage, but not that big of a deal. But yeah, you'll see right here, this is kind of where I'm just trying to survive. Don't really do much damage and then wait for Echo and Weapon Aura and Hammers. And I actually saved my um, V3 for, I could have used it at a two minute mark, but I saved it for to pair with Echo and things like that. So that was the strategy there. And then I'm gonna use Sanko here and then I'm gonna pop it pretty much right here. This is an easy time. He's not going to die. He's not going to dash. Sanker up and chunk him down. 
So I think I get him down before this fly up skill. But yeah, a lot of fun. Um, hard Magnus, my old staple kind of from just playing and nope. But thank you again for watching. Um, hopefully new content, new patch coming up soon. Um, something to talk about next podcast. But don't forget to subscribe. Like, appreciate all the support with the everything in the channel. And um, yeah, I, I kind of enjoy doing these review videos of other people's content. Uh, there's a lot of great content out there, Maple. Um, so I definitely want to share, maybe get a look at Kana, um, you know, other classes that are, um, you know, at the top, you know, playing, doing the end game content. Um, but yeah, excited about the progress. Hopefully share more Lotus content, PRs, maybe get a hundred bill in Lotus uh, this week, 90 plus, hopefully at least, and then see how far we can progress in Damien. But thank you again for watching different type of podcast for video review. Um, I'll see you guys next time.